the distance formula. So we're going to have a short review of the distance formula and later we're going to apply this concept in solving some problems related to the standard form of a circle. The distance AB between two points with Cartesian coordinates A, that is x sub 1, y sub 1, and B, that is x sub 2, y sub 2, is given by the following formula. The distance is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So we all know in our junior high school mathematics that the distance formula came from the Pythagorean theorem in a right triangle. Okay, always remember that this stands for the distance. A with a coordinate of x sub 1, y sub 1 is the coordinate of the first point. And B with the coordinate of x sub 2, y sub 2 is the coordinate of the second point. So you'll be the one to assign who is the first point, who is the second point. Okay, let's have our example number one. Find the distance between the points A, B. Okay, the point, is in quadrant, point A is in quadrant 3, while point B is in quadrant 1. So the first thing to do is to locate or the coordinate of point A and B in our Cartesian plane to get that distance from A, B. So A has a coordinate of negative 4, negative 3, while B has a coordinate of 4, 3. Now we assign point A as our first point. So we have x sub 1, y sub 1 for negative 4, negative 3. Then B is your second point that has a coordinate of x sub 2, y sub 2. Applying the formula, so we have x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared, so that becomes 4 minus negative 4 squared, plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared, so that becomes 3 minus negative 3 squared. So what is now 4 minus negative 4? 4 minus negative 4 will give us positive 8, so that becomes now 8 squared, while 3 minus negative 3 will give us 6 squared. 8 squared, we have there 64, while 6 squared is 36. Getting the sum of 64 and 36, now we have the square root of 100. And the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So the length of the segment connecting point A to point B is exactly 10 units. Let's have example number 2. Find the distance between the points F, B. So this time, point F is in your second quadrant, while point B is in quadrant 4. So to find the distance between the points F, B, we need to get the coordinate of point F and point B. So point F has a coordinate of negative 3, 4, while point B has a coordinate of 2, negative 2. Now we assign point F as our first coordinate, then we assign point B as our second point. Applying the distance formula, so we have x sub 2 minus x sub 1, then we have y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So 2 minus negative 3 will give us positive 5, negative 2 minus negative 4 will give us negative 6. So now we evaluate 5 squared. 5 squared will give us 25, while 6 squared will give us 36. Getting the sum of 25 and 36, so d is equal to the square root of 61. Then the square root of 61 is exactly or approximately 7.81 units. So that will be the length of the segment joining FP, or the distance between the points F and B. The distance formula in center HK. So this time, we're going to apply both concepts in solving for the succeeding problem. Example number 3. What is the equation of a circle with center at 1, 1 and passes through the point negative 2, negative 3? So the given, we have point C, which is 1, 1, the center of the circle. So this will be the coordinate of our first point, x sub 1, y sub 1. We have another point, that is point P, 
which has a coordinate of negative 2, negative 3. So this will be our x sub 2, y sub 2. Plotting the points in a Cartesian plane, so we have C, 1, 1, and P, negative 2, negative 3. So to get the distance between these two points, we're going to apply the distance formula. So that is D is equal to the square root of, so we have the two points, C and P, that is quantity of negative 2 minus 1 squared, plus the quantity of negative 3 minus 1 squared. So negative 2 minus negative 1 will give us negative 3, so that will make it negative 3 squared. Plus, negative 3 minus 1 will give us negative 4. So now we have negative 4 squared. Squaring these two numbers, so we have negative 3 squared, that will be equivalent to 9, while negative 4 squared is equivalent to 16. Getting the sum of 9 and 16, we will get square root of 25. And 25 has an exact root. So the square root of 25 is equal to 5 units. So now we know the distance between the center and that point P on the circle is exactly 5 units. And since that is the distance from the center to a point on the circle, so that is considered as a radius. So D is equal to R. To draw the circle, since we already have the length of the radius, so we get that radius of length 5 with center at 1, 1. So using our compass, this will be the circle in example number 3. Next. Since we all know that D is equal to R, so the value of R is equal to 5 units. While the center as given that is at point 1, 1. Since we already have the center and the radius, so now we can form the standard equation of that circle. So using our formula, so that is x minus h quantity squared plus quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Substituting the value of the center and the radius, so we have h, k, and r. So h is 1, k is also 1, and the length of the radius is 5 units. So our resulting equation becomes x minus 1 or quantity x minus 1 squared plus quantity y minus 1 squared is equal to 5 squared. So the final answer, we have the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus the quantity of y minus 1 squared is equal to 25. So that will be the answer in example number 3. So we use both the concept of distance formula and center hk. Example number 4. What is the equation of a circle with center at 2, negative 1 and passes to the point 3, 4? So this is a similar problem in example number 3. So we are given the center at 2, negative 1 and point P, that is a point on the circle, at 3, 4. So we write the given, so this will be our first point and this will be our second point. On a Cartesian plane, so we plot the point P and C. So this will be point P that has a coordinate of 3, 4. And this will be point C which has a coordinate of 2, negative 1. To get the distance between the two points, so we use a distance formula. So that will be the square root of 2 minus 3 or the quantity of 2 minus 3 squared plus negative 1 minus 4 squared. So 2 minus 3 will give us negative 1, while negative 1 minus 4 will give us negative 5. So the resulting equations become d is equal to the square root of negative 1 squared plus negative 5 squared. So d is equal to 1 plus 25, so that will make it both positive. And 1 plus 25, that will give us a sum of 26. So the square root of 26 is approximately 5.10 units. And we all know that the distance from C to P is the length of the radius. So again, D is equal to R.
To draw the circle, since we already have the center and the length of the radius, so now we can draw its circle. So this will be the circle in example number 4. Next. Since we all know that D is equals to R, and R has a value of square root of 26, and given the center at 2, negative 1. So this time we'll be applying the formula for center at hk. So the standard equation is the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. By substitution, so we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y plus 1 squared is equal to square root of 26 squared. Next, we evaluate this equation. So it will give us our final answer. That is the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y plus 1 squared is equal to 26. So that's it for example number 4. Another concept. So another concept that we are going to apply is the concept of midpoint or the midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula is used to find the exact center between two defined points in a line segment. And this is given by the equation midpoint is equal to the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So this will be the coordinate of the midpoint. So remember that m refers to your midpoint x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 is the coordinate or the x-coordinate. And y sub 1 plus y sub 2 is your y-coordinate. So let's apply this formula in the succeeding problem. Sample number 5. Find the midpoint of segment AB. So now we are given point A and B in this Cartesian plane. So the first step to do is for us to locate or find the coordinate of the two points. Point A is located in quadrant 3, which has a coordinate of negative 3, negative 2. While point B is located in quadrant 1, which has a coordinate of 5, 3. Since we already have the two points with their coordinates, so now we can substitute those points in our midpoint formula. So M is equal to X sub 1 plus X sub 2 over 2, and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So to get the midpoint by substitution, so we have negative 3 plus 5 over 2, and negative 2 plus 3 over 2. So we evaluate this, so it becomes 2 over 2 and 1 half. So 2 over 2 will give us the midpoint that is located at 1 and 1 half. So the midpoint is still located in quadrant 1. Next example. Example number 6. Write the standard equation of the circle given the diameter with n points, negative 2, 1, and 4, 3. So first we plot the two points. So this will be point A located in quadrant 2, which has a coordinate of negative 2, 1. And this will be point B located in quadrant 1, which has a coordinate of 4, 3. So now we assign point A as x sub 1, y sub 1, and point B that is x sub 2, y sub 2. So now getting the midpoint of these two segments, so the midpoint is now equivalent to our center. Since the given is the diameter, so the midpoint is the center hk. So m is equal to negative 2 plus 4 over 2, and 1 plus 3 over 2. So we evaluate this, it becomes m is equal to 2 over 2 and 4 over 2. So the location of the midpoint is at the point 1, 2. And that is still in quadrant 1. And since we all know that the midpoint is equivalent to the center, so that becomes the center of the circle. So once we draw the circle, so this will be the circle in example number 6. Okay, hey, 
So the given is the center at 1, 2. So we only need to choose one of the two points. In this case, I'll be using the center 1, 2 and assign it as x sub 1, y sub 1. And the point B, which has a coordinate of 4, 3 as x sub 2, y sub 2. So since our distance is equal to the radius, so this equals to r. So using the distance formula, the length of the radius will give us the square root of x sub 2 or quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So by substitution, we get r is equal to the square root of quantity 4 minus 1 squared plus 3 minus 2 squared. 4 minus 1 will give us positive 3 and 3 minus 2 will give us positive 1. So 3 squared, that is equivalent to 9, while 1 squared is equal to 1. So getting the sum of 9 and 1, so r is equal to square root of 10. So now we already have the center and the length of the radius. So forming now the equation of the circle, using our center at 1, 2, and the length of the radius that is equivalent to square root of 10. Okay, using the standard formula, so we have the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus the quantity of y minus 2 squared is equal to square root of 10 squared. So our final answer becomes the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus the quantity of y minus 2 squared is equal to 10. So that's it for example number 6. And we are done. Thank you for watching.